CCP is secret diplomatic mission to North Korea amidst rising tensions. What does it signify? Welcome to Capture the Intelligence. Today we delve into the recent developments on the Korean Peninsula, where Chinese Vice Foreign Minister Sun Wydong led a secretive delegation to North Korea, arriving in Pyongyang via the border city of Sinwiju. This clandestine mission, shrouded in secrecy, has ignited intense speculation regarding its objectives and potential ramifications for the already volatile Korean Peninsula. While the Chinese Foreign Ministry has remained tight-lipped about the purpose of Sun's visit, the North Korean state media outlet, Kukna, confirmed his arrival, adding to the intrigue surrounding this diplomatic maneuver. The timing of this visit amidst escalating tensions in the region raises critical questions about its implications. Now let's explore the details. The Korean Peninsula has been a hotspot of tension, with North Korea conducting missile tests, artillery shelling, and even test firing new strategic cruise missiles in recent weeks. Amid heightened tensions on the Korean Peninsula, Sun's visit has raised eyebrows among international observers. The situation has escalated to the point where North Korean leader Kim Jong-un hinted at the possibility of war. Against this backdrop, China's Vice Foreign Minister Sun Wydong's covert visit to North Korea demands our attention. History has shown us that whenever high-ranking Chinese officials make visits, global geopolitical dynamics tend to shift. Think back to previous instances, such as President Xi Jinping's meetings with Russian President Vladimir Putin on February 4, 2022, followed by the conflict in Ukraine on February 24, 2022. There appears to be a pattern of coordinated actions involving China, Russia, and their allies. Some observers suggest that China, Russia, North Korea, and Iran form a strategic axis of evil, aiming to challenge the existing international order. A recent visit by Vice Foreign Minister Sun Wydong to North Korea adds another layer to this complex puzzle. Is this a move to de-escalate tensions? Or does it signal a potential intensification of the situation? Some analysts believe that China's involvement could be part of a broader strategic calculus aimed at undermining the United States' presence in the Asia-Pacific region. They argue that China may be seeking to bolster North Korea's position as a bargaining chip against the United States, potentially complicating Washington's ability to maintain its military alliances and influence in the region. The secrecy surrounding Sun's visit has fueled speculation about the specific agenda and the level of engagement between China and North Korea. Whether the focus is on de-escalation, strategic maneuvering, or a combination of both, the outcome of this diplomatic mission could have profound implications for the stability of the Korean Peninsula and the broader geopolitical landscape. As the world awaits further developments, it is essential to monitor the evolving situation closely. China's role in this delicate diplomatic dance will undoubtedly be scrutinized, and its actions will be instrumental in shaping the trajectory of events. Whether it succeeds in diffusing tensions or inadvertently contributes to further escalation, the stakes are high, and the consequences will be far-reaching. When it comes to high-level diplomatic visits, it's essential to consider the potential outcomes. Vice Foreign Minister Sun Wydong is unlikely to engage in direct negotiations with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Instead, his role may involve facilitating behind-the-scenes strategic discussions, intelligence, sharing and coordinating responses to regional challenges. In conclusion, the secretive visit of Chinese Vice Foreign Minister Sun Wydong to North Korea holds significant implications for the future of the Korean Peninsula and the broader geopolitical landscape. Whether this visit is a move to ease tensions or part of a larger strategy to reshape the region remains to be seen. Stay tuned as we continue to analyze and decode the unfolding events. If you found this video helpful, remember to like, share, and destroy that subscribe button. Also, stay tuned for the latest current affairs on the Capture the Intelligence channel. Until next time, stay informed and stay vigilant.